Storm Kieran has claimed five more lives as record-breaking rainfall caused flooding that hit much of Tuscany as Storm Kieran hit Italy today, trapping residents in their homes, inundating hospitals and overturning cars. Nearly eight inches of rain fell in three hours, flooding the Arno River, and the death toll from the storm in Western Europe rose to 12. Dramatic scenes showed at least a dozen cars pushed onto the road at night by a fast, muddy current. There was an unprecedented wave of water bombs, Tuscany Governor Eugenio Gianni told Italian news channel Sky TG24 as he tried to describe the heavy rain. He reported the five deaths on social media and posted photos of large inland areas submerged in floodwaters. The Italian government has declared a state of emergency in Tuscany, with an initial allocation of 5 million euros for 3 million for the worst affected region, Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni said today. The dead in Tuscany included an 85-year-old man who was found in the basement of his flooded home near the city of Prato, north of Florence, and an 84-year-old woman who died while trying to push water out of her house. In the same region, according to Italian news agency ANSA, another casualty was reported in Livorno, at least three people went missing in Tuscany, and one person was reported missing in the mountains of Veneto, north of Venice. Other areas were on high alert and authorities warned that the storm was heading towards southern Italy. Kieran left at least seven people dead as it hit Spain, France, Belgium, the Netherlands and Germany on Thursday. The storm destroyed homes, caused travel chaos and cut power to many people, as the storm continued, hospitals in Italy's Pisa and Mugello were flooded. Throughout Tuscany, railways and roads were disrupted and schools were closed. The mayor of Prato expressed his shock at the enormity of the floods that devastated the city overnight. Until early Friday morning, residents were trying to clean up the damage. Blow in the stomach, pain to the point of tears, but even after a night of destruction, we are still trying to clean up and return our city to normal, Mayor Matteo Bifoni wrote on social media. Florence Mayor Dario Nardella told Sky TG24 that the Arno River, which flows through the city center, had reached the first alert level, with the highest level expected at midday. Neither he nor the governor expected the river to overflow, psychological fears are high, considering that tomorrow is the anniversary of the 1966 flood, said Nardella, recalling the flood that killed 101 people and damaged or destroyed millions of works of art and rare books. In Austria's southern province of Carinthia, which borders Italy and Slovenia, winds and heavy rain late Thursday caused landslides, road closures and power outages. About 1,600 households were without power on Friday morning, the Austrian press agency reported. The storm subsided in northern France and the Atlantic coast on Friday, but heavy rain continued in some areas as emergency workers cleared debris from the previous day. Meanwhile, Corsica in the Mediterranean faced unusually strong winds on Friday of up to 140 km per hour 87 miles per hour and areas in the Pyrenees to the southwest were under a flood warning. More than half a million households in France were still experiencing power cuts on a second day. Especially in the western region of Brittany. Trains were stopped in some areas and many roads were closed. French President Emmanuel Macron traveled on Friday to the storm-hit areas of Brittany and Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne traveled to the worst-hit areas of Normandy.